My socks. We are out of food. You're going to have to wait. Sorry, Ringo. Sorry. A couple super old house sites over here. Like, just a couple bits of the foundation and old well are left. Ooh. That's pretty. I don't get, like, great reception down through most of the woods, but I get it through a little bit up here. This is our last few days here, and I was kind of hoping I'd be able to get some more stuff out of the well, but it looks like we're going to have to come back once it dries out. This is too wet right now. Some of those big Joro spiders. Gold silk orb weavers. I know you really can't see her. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Hey, baby. Look at these guys. Huge! I like them. They're an invasive species. My brother kills them all the time, but they're obviously just not going to go anywhere. There's no way to get rid of them. And creepy crawlies, hell yeah. I love those guys. There's another one. My god, they're everywhere. Jeez, four, five nest webs right here. Oh, that's good stuff. I need some of this. Let me see. I want some good leaves. This is it's like the most amazing insect mosquitoes are ticks on you at all it's amazing i had some on me the other day i had a mosquito issue no problems and then i took a shower 
and I was like, why are there mosquitoes all over me all of a sudden? I haven't seen them for like two days. It's like, oh yeah. Beauty berry all over me. Sorry. I've just got like a crumpled up handful of leaves and I'm rubbing it on the exposed parts of my body. Keep the bugs off. I take some cuttings and grow this around the new house. So this is this is just literally I've just crushed these leaves up to release the oil and just rubbed it all over me. And like, you know, spot tested on you. I'm not allergic to really anything, so I'm not worried about it, but spot tested on you, don't just like rub it all over you. This is beauty berry. You can tell very distinctive purple berries. Um, super good plant. <sighs> and it just, it smells like cut grass. It smells like a plant. It smells nice. Okay. okay. Put that all over me. Ah, I smell like beauty berry now. Okay. And no mosquito issues. So, here's, uh, these are parts of this old house site over here. And I've been kind of finding... Picking through here, finding occasional bottles and stuff. This has been picked through super well. But, you know, each time you go through it, you put up. Oh, speaking of which, and there's a bottle. Surrounded by Jorah spiders. I really don't want to walk through these guys' webs. But I want that bottle over there. Okay. I'm going to have to. There's just no two ways about it. Let's see. This way. I go down. Be careful. Oh, no. Oh, I got it with my back. Oh, well. Oh, that's what I want. Come over here. Bottle! What is this? Double cola. That's a new one. The old like jam jar or something down there. What's that? A bit of an old flower pot or something. Now the last time this house showed up on any aerial photography as being the least bit intact. The last time you could see the roof was sometime in the early 50s. So this house has been gone for a long time. I'm just really doing much of anything um my husband is working all day today but he's going uh you might have seen poison ivy out here i don't react to it so i don't even pay attention like it's all over the place out here but nobody in my family has a reaction to it so it's just something that we don't even, like, I don't even see it anymore. Uh, but I know it's all out here. But uh, my husband's picking up the key to our new house today. But he's not going to be back until super late because he's working a shift at the Fabulous 40 Walk Club tonight. Uh, he's working at a drag show. Not in the drag show, but he's, like, on the floor and the door and whatnot. And, uh... So he won't be back until like midnight or something. And I'm kind of antsy because I want to get the hell out of this barn. Get into a new house. And so I'm just all twitchy and I'm just kind of wandering around today. <laughs> trying to find something to do. Because <laughs> I am... Um, we've been living in the barn for two months. Which has been not bad. It's been pretty decent. It doesn't have indoor plumbing which sucks. But aside from that it's alright. But I am really ready to get into an actual house again. Well, come down here then. Yeah. Pet me, but I do want to come down. Hey, Sophie, you want to come out in the woods with me? I was talking to Sophie. 
I mean, like, you can come out in the woods with me, too, if you want, but I'm just kind of wandering around the house site right up here, looking for bottles and shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, I'm just going right over here, so, I mean, you can catch up with me real, real quick. Corey's gonna come out with me. Just wander around a little bit. Oh, there's something blooming! Making me all snotty. I should go. I should go put a face mask on. Because it helps. Oh, actually, I'm going to go do that. Because I'm just so fucking snotty right now. Do you grow garlic bread? <laughs> you know, my mom grows garlic in her garden. I haven't been able to have a garden with edible plants in it for a long time because the place we the places we've been living have been full of animals. Uh, I'm gonna go grab. There's like a N95 floating around here. I know it's in here. I saw it. There we go. Ah! Still in your mask. Something out here is blooming and it's killing me. Ah, okay. <coughs> See if that helps some. Dude. Part of it might just be the temperature change, but man, my sinuses were just like. <coughs> Alright. Hopefully that'll help. I don't have COVID, I just have allergies. I'm wearing a mask right now to hopefully kind of help with that. There's that cool mushroom. Jeez. Sorry. I know that's awesome. Yeah, I got allergies. Okay. Oh yeah, it's getting better. Oh, what am I walking on? I'm wet in this shoe. Oh man, I know, there's like goldenrod and shit blooming around here right now. I don't even know what's going right now, but something's killing me. They're also, uh, they cut the pasture next door. They've been mowing a lot. So here's another one of the old house site areas. I mean, you can see there's really... Not much left here. If you know what you're looking for, you can tell there used to be a house here. But I'm just kind of looking for anything interesting out here. Bottles and stuff come up to the surface. Had a lot of rain recently.
here. Yeah, oh, that's a neat jar. I like that one. It's a little unusual. Oh, oh there's something else that I grabbed here too. Bow and arrow. <laughs> uh, it's at the barn. I do have one. I'm not carrying it with me. Ew, that was sealed. There's some new bottles over here. It's an interesting one I got here. The Joros, yes. Yep. Jam jar. That's an unusual one. Yeah, that's a funky shape. Kinda. Ah! Fucking Joros everywhere. Mm. There seems like there's a lot of bottles right around here. I'm thinking about grabbing a container and just bringing it down here. Oh, there's another one over there. All right, I'm going to go grab some sort of container. Okay, we'll leave it then. Oh, wow, no. <laughs> leave it where it is then. <laughs> we try not to take bottles that have stuff growing in it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go back and get one of these containers that I have over here for our artifacts. Oh, so much better with the mask on. I can actually breathe. Oh my god. Keep forgetting that. It works against all sorts of shit. Once you do. Oh, it's going to be a lot better. There aren't going to be people mowing their pastures all around. Oh god. I think that's what, what's getting me. Because, well, I mean, I don't think he's... Did he? Okay. Yeah, that's it. Really that's what got on, me. On the side, besides the studio where the mulberry tree is. Okay. I heard him. Oh, and I just walked up by there. Okay. That explains. That explains everything. Do I have another? I don't. I do have a bucket. Yeah, let's take that. You want to come, Miss? Come on. Come on, Miss O. Come on. Miss. You. Come on, you come down and chase small animals. I'm going to find a deer. But chase them across the water and then stand there boofing. Yep. My dog does not like getting wet. Whatever, he's fine. Is that my house? No, it's just where we're temporarily staying. Uh, we're moving tomorrow. We're moving tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. We had some housing issues and we ended up crashing at my dad's barn for a couple months. Yeah. Uh, while we were getting our housing stuff straightened out. So no, that used to be a horse barn. This used to be a horse farm. It's been defunct for 15-20 years. Quite a while. I was alive when there was still a horse That's farm. true. So, so like 10-15 10, 10, years. Yeah, it's so just like not that. used as a horse farm anymore. The barn's just storage now. See, and we're looking around to see if we can find any more interesting bottles. And we found a uh, bottle that was still full and closed with like the old cabinet of shoe polish. Yeah, we found all really sorts cool. of interesting shit back here. So, so these houses, the two there. houses back here that were demolished or fell down in the 50s. Um, 
the last time they showed up on any aerial surveys. So, uh, the dates that we found on stuff on the trash here seem to all be from like before 1920. Like, the, the, the uh, supposed to be found was somewhere between 1870 and 1920. Yeah. So, uh, the milk bottle I found was like 08. We found some stuff that was 07. So, early 1900s. So, like early 1900s. Yeah. I'm thinking it was probably abandoned sometime in the 20s, maybe. Yeah, and then um, it just stayed up until and it just sat the there. Woods up around and... Well, and eventually someone came in here and they did like push all the trash into the old wells out here. So someone kind of yeah, demolished well, them, but yeah, and he came over and demolished the rest of it. Safe for the kids. Sort of. Safe, safer. <laughs> well, it was when we were kids. I just found an old well that the the dirt he pushed over it. There was, a, there was some sheet metal over it that he didn't know was there, and the sheet metal finally rotted away, and it fell in, and we found the old well. and Pulled dozens of pairs of old shoes out of it, and all sorts of other weird crap. Let's see. I don't see much of anything right over here. Can I help? She does help. I found bottles. To hold stuff still for us. There's some crockery. It's just straight down that way. Kind of. <laughs> as straight as you can go. <laughs> blocking the path over there so we can't just walk normally down the path. Yep. That was the way it works out here. I am so not dressed for this. I'm just wearing like leggings. Not appropriate clothing. I didn't even bring my jeans. I didn't think we were going to be here that long. Yeah, no, I know. They're it's fucking terrifying. gigantic. You almost walked through the web. I could have gotten that on my face. Oh, whatever. I big slider on my face. They're all like eye level to me. Okay, her. yeah, I know. I see them. Okay. Her. It. It's a her, I'm sure. It's a spiny orb weaver. Okay, I know that's not funny, but... No, see, that's what happened every time I was walking through a spider whip yesterday. Uh, I saw it and then stopped and leaned back. And I was like, oh my god, because they're everywhere. So yeah. down here. Oh, there's another bottle. That's a newer bottle. That is still a bottle. Deposit, no return. Yeah, definitely. I don't want the water that's in there. Careful, Sophie. No, you don't want the water that's in there either. That's nasty. I know you. Much. She's got something. Hey. Yeah, no, they're everywhere. That's ridiculous. And no, and they're all like the huge ones are all around here too. Yep. Yeah. Oh. This way. I know. Walnut tree. Ah! Oh my god. Jeez, <laughs> it's like the 
golden scultulas. It's ah! everywhere. They look like them. If big. we kill them, will we get some coins? Look, they're everywhere. I know. It's a huge one. This little black walnut here. Well, there's a bucket. Oh, there's a lot of shit up in there. Damn. Okay, let's get the... Not very interesting. I'm going to leave that. Huh? Sorry. Well, you can just put it down and leave it in the middle of the clearing and we'll yeah. come back oh, and yeah, grab it later. Yeah. Like, we should be in the same place right here. They're all just in ever so slightly better shape. It was wired for electricity back in the late 40s, early 50s. That's surprising. This is wired for electricity. And considering how rural it is. But I guess there was a road that was going down here at that point. Yeah. around here. Oh. Local one? Mm. 